Hello Horde and welcome to Ticket Light with John. Today I'm going to be showing you how to um, automate crafting. Uh, there are a few machines in Ticket Light that allow you to pump resources into a, a, a crafting table and for the, an item to be made. So I'm going to show you how to make it. The first thing you're going to want to make is um, an actual crafting uh, the auto crafting table. What you need for this is a crafting table, four wooden gears, and um, uh, that's it. So I'll show you how to make it. Uh, let me just quickly grab up this crafting table over here. This is why I got my axe out. Oh, there's going to be a spider that's going to kill me. Wait for it. There we go. Oh, cr oh no. Oh crap. Oh crap, I'm getting owned by a spider now. Do I not have a sword? Nope. So I'll quickly grab this crafting table and place it in the factory. So what I'm going to do, we're doing today is showing you how to automate crafting. This helps um, uh, to make like assembly lines and other cool things. So what you're going to first make is an, automa an automatic crafting table. So put a, a crafting table in the middle, a wooden gear at the top, uh, bottom, left and right. If you forgot how to make a wooden gear, it's just ooh, it's just basically what wrong thing. Uh, it's just basically four sticks. Uh, so yeah, like I said before, um, a wooden gear to either side of the crafting table makes your automatic crafting table. I'm gonna place it down. Show you what it does. So what you do is basically you place a uh, a blueprint in there of something that you want to craft, and then the crafting table. Once you pump that resource in. Um, it will make it. I'll show you what I mean in a second, but yeah, we're going to make the next tier of automatic crafting table. Uh, for this one, you need the automatic crafting table you've just made. Uh, you're going to need two wooden planks, two cobblestone, a chest, two gold nuggets, and a waterproof, uh, a waterproof, a wooden transport pipe. So I'll show you how to make it. Gold nuggets are just made by sticking an ingot um, into um, a crafting table and it'll turn it into um, gold nuggets. Uh, so put your chest at the bottom, uh, automatic crafting table in uh, the center, then to the left and right of the, is it, the left and right of the chest put cobblestone, right, uh, left and right of the uh, automatic crafting table put wood, then in the left and the right corners put a golden nugget, and then in the center put a wooden transport pipe. Makes your automatic crafting table mark two. Um, to make a wooden transport pipe, it is just um, wood, glass, wood. Just in case you forgot that. So here is how you make your automatic crafting table two. Um, so oh my god! This, uh, so this basically also uh, has like a storage, so you can actually um, it's easy to um, pump a lot of resources in, and then. Uh, you can uh, put how many you want to make. So let's say you wanted uh, 64 or you wanted one, um, then it would um, craft only that many. If you understand what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, moving on, before I ramble on too much, before I confuse you, um, I'll show, be showing you them in a second, explaining them a bit more, just crafting them for now. Uh, you're going to need some different pipes. So I'm going to show you four different pipes that you can, you can make to help speed up and to help organize your factories. First one is golden transport pipes. Golden transport pipes, uh, when placed with a redstone signal, when a redstone signal is next to them, so uh, with, uh, using either redstone torch or something, uh, they will speed up any item that goes through them. Uh, so uh, glass in the middle and then uh, gold either side of the glass makes eight golden transport pipes. So um, golden transport pipes work by, if you place them down, um, if you the more that you place down next to each other, the faster the item will travel. Uh, it didn't used to work like that. It might not work like this in this version of Tech It, so I'll have to test test it out in a second. Next is iron transport pipes. Iron transport pipes basically block um, a certain route. Uh, so let's say you want items to go left, but something's pumping stuff right um, uh, through transport pipes. You can put an iron transport pipe down. And it will block anything going um, from the right so that it only goes left or vice versa. 
Um, so that is how you make iron transport pipes. Glass in the middle, and then uh, iron either side makes iron transport pipes. Now, the next is obsidian pipes. Obsidian pipes, uh, once, uh, if you place, um, I think it's a redstone engine next to them, uh, they will suck up anything uh, on the floor. So let's say you've got overflow. So basically these are like overflow pipes. If anything like overflows out of machines, these will suck up the item that's um, been dropped and uh, put it back into an inventory of your choice. So put glass in the middle, obsidian to either side, make sure obsidian transport pipes. Now finally, the last pipe that I'm going to show you today is the void pipe. So put a piece of glass in the middle and put a redstone uh, to one side and knit sack to the other. Uh, make sure void transport pipes. Basically, void transport pipes are like deleting, uh, deleting pipes. Anything that goes into pipe will be destroyed. Uh, so it's like an incinerator. Um, it's good for when... Um, it's good to have these for quarries and stuff because you produce a lot of uh, dirt. Oh my god, that skeleton is really loud. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do now is that I've made all these, so I'm going to set up my own um, factory uh, here, just uh, doing lots of things, and then I'm going to explain how each of these things work. Um, so I'm going to be right back in a second um, to explain how all these things that you just crafted uh, work. Hello Horde, and welcome back to Tech It Light. I've set up five demonstrations around this factory to help explain how the items that you've just crafted work. The first thing I'm going to show you is how the automatic crafting table works. Okay, the automatic crafting table acts like a blueprint. All you have to do is put what you want to be crafted in. So I want iron blocks to be crafted, so I've got um, nine iron and put it in this. Now what it does is that it will keep that recipe in there and uh, once you pump the ingredients into the automatic crafting table, they will stack. Um, this means that anything that doesn't stack, like I just found out, such as um, buckets, um, you can't craft recipes like that in the first automatic crafting table. You have to do them in the Mark II, which I'll show you in a sec. So yeah, um, this basically, the automatic crafting table um, you place the blueprint down, so place what you want to make, but instead of clicking it to take it out, you'd basically just leave it there, and it will save that recipe. Uh, it will remember that recipe, and it will stack the other item. So it'll uh, pump, whatever gets pumped into it, it will remember what needs to go in, and it will only allow that to go in. So once this has got uh, a duplicate, so as soon as that item gets there, it will pump out an iron block, when I tell it to, and it will save the recipe. So this iron block won't go. And that is basically how it works. So you put a recipe in, um, it will duplicate it, so it will stack on top. Um, and then once it realises that it can make another one, it will allow you to pump it out. Uh, now, um, a better example of this is a more complex, uh, a more complex uh, recipe. So, this is going to show you uh, how the automatic crafting table works, but not only that, how iron pipes work. So let's first turn on the machines. This machine, uh, this um, um, this automatic crafting table will produce redstone engines when it has all the things pumped in. So this uh, chest here is full of glass, this is full of wood, uh, this is full of pistons, and this is full of gears. Uh, these are all the four components of it. Once um, one of each of these goes in, so once there is three blocks of wood, one glass, two, uh, two wooden gears and a piston, um, a redstone engine will be pumped out. So even though this is pumping now, it won't pump out the redstone engine until there is two. Um, so it's basically, um, although uh, it is good, you have to spend... Obviously, you have to make the item twice just to make one, if you understand. Uh, so, let's just say I wanted to make, um, like, a redstone engine. I had to place these items in here. Uh, if this were a crafting table, I would already be able to make the redstone engine. But because it's not, I have to wait until another, uh, until there is at least two of each. As uh, soon as there is enough, it will pump out. Now, uh, how this is different is that I've used them iron, I've used the iron uh, transport pipes. What the iron transport pipes do is, 
Uh, with a wrench, I'll, show, I'll right click the wrench so you know how to make it. Uh, this is how you make it. Wooden, gear, then it's stone gear, then iron. Um, with a wrench, you, you can right click uh, an iron transport pipe. So if I right click uh, this, it will change it. This means that anything, um, this means that this, uh, that left and down can't, items can't go. Uh, and they can only go right. But if I right click it again, now it means that items can only go um, left. Because right is blocked and down is blocked. But really, to make this recipe work, I need right and left blocked. So that backflow doesn't go back into the chests. And that the only way open is down. So now that you understand how that works, uh, if it just basically prevents back backflow. So whichever um, side is... Um, uh, like grey that means that that side's blocked so if left is blocked that means nothing can go left if right is blocked so if the right grey part it means that right is blocked and if the bottom top or other sides have the grey um, area it also means that they're blocked so basically all you have to do is with a wrench you right click until you have the right configuration that you want uh, that's it for the iron pipes now uh, an easy one is the void pipe Basically, what you need to do is you need to pump whatever you need out, and uh, once this is going, so this is churning out them. Uh, anything that touches or goes inside the void pipe, so look, will be destroyed. So I'm getting all these cobblestone destroyed. Uh, this is a really good uh, way of getting rid of excess cobblestone, especially in quarries, because they make the the mine up so much. Um, so what you could do is you could have this attached to a diamond pipe and let's say the red uh, side of the diamond pipe have one of these and um, so that anything that you don't want uh, you can put in the red side and it will be destroyed. Now this here demonstrates gold pipes and um, uh, ender pipes. No obsidian pipes sorry. So what is happening is this pipe is pumping. If I throw anything, so with this, oh crap, I've thrown everything. If I throw anything and it touches this pipe, it will, oh, it will be sucked up. So the end of pipe, once there is a, if there is a redstone engine pumping it, will suck up any items that are loose. So this is good um, near macerators because sometimes macerators, um, when they get overflown, uh, so let's say you're putting too much ore in. Um, uh, some dust will end up uh, popping out the machine because there's not enough room for it to be stored in it. Um, as well as if you were putting too much ore in, if there were already a stack of 64 in, uh, the ore would also get pumped out of the machine and drop on the floor. So obsidian, pi uh, yeah, obsidian pipes are a good way to make sure that nothing is lost. Now, what this is, is a golden pipe. Now, in this version, um, well, I don't know how many... Uh, how long ago Billcraft updated, uh, but when I used to use gold pipes, you had to use a redstone torch or some sort of redstone. You don't actually have to do it anymore. They work different as long as um, they work different because uh, if you have one golden pipe, it will basically let's say increase it by one. But if you have two, it will increase it by two, so it'll get fast, double fast, and then triple fast, and faster and faster. So basically, instead of having uh, one booster. Because you, you used to stick like a golden pipe in next to uh, with a redstone um, signal, and as soon as the item goes, it'd shoot it. But instead, this one uh, basically just speeds it up. Uh, also, e although you don't have to use redstone and it's less faffing, um, I don't think it's fast it used to be. Uh, so it's okay. So if you invested a lot of gold pipe, so if you if you invested a lot in your system and made it all gold, um, it would be extremely fast. Uh, so what has happened is that this. It, I've, the obsidian pipe sucks the item up, it'll go in here and it'll fly through this pipe. Let's have a watch. So this stake is going in and it'll, as soon as it hits that it'll get faster. It'll go faster and then faster and then faster and then faster and then it'll shoot through all this pipe. Now the final thing I'm going to show you is the um, automatic crafting table mark 2. Now what this does is, is it works a slightly bit different to this. Uh, it works slightly different because uh, instead of having to stack the items, it has an inventory um, which it um, will check the inventory to see if it has enough items. 
Uh, this means that, um, unlike uh, the automatic crafting table, you can make items that don't stack. For example, you can make cakes, you can make, uh, uh, so basically anything with buckets. Because since buckets of lava and stuff don't stack in that, it is impossible to make it in an automatic crafting table, uh, since it has to stack. So basically, automatic crafting table, oh, my voice went really weird then. <laughs> um, the automatic crafting table, the items, as you can see, have to be double before it makes the item. Uh, whereas this one, it doesn't actually duplicate on there. It will check the inventory space, and uh, if it realizes it has enough items, then it will be, uh, then it will uh, make the item. Uh, also, what you need to remember is that this one needs to to get the items out of this um, one, the, the automatic crafting table mark two. You have to pump out of the top. Uh, the automatic crafting table Mark 1 um, can be pumped out at any side. But the Mark 2, you have to pump out at the top. How you do this, you basically just get a wrench and right click until you get you have it the right way you want. Also, um, either side of this, so um, let me just make it so it's facing up. Uh, so the back, uh, the front and back, left and right of this uh, configuration, uh, w um, represent each row. So let's say the front is the top row, the back is the bottom row, and the left is uh, the third row, and then the right is the fourth row. Um, this means that uh, you have um, it like organizes it in a way, which is pretty cool. I like that as well. So if you pumped uh, right, it'd stay books. Uh, if you pump left, maybe it'd keep um, any like the oak so if I had this set up over here um, like this first it wouldn't work because I'm pumping it to the top and it can't be pumped in the top but let's say uh, all this in this chest I'll wipe them out uh, everything in this chest so going into the right would stack on one row and anything going to the left would stack on an opposite row I hope you understand uh, now what the bottom row is for empty buckets um, so um, it will help so if you had something pumping buckets in and out of the bottom um, that is what the bottom row is for buckets uh, which is pretty cool I think that's quite cool uh, so it, empty buckets will stack so let's say you were making some sort of cake factory uh, the buckets will stack I think it's bucket stack 16 don't they I can't remember uh, I, don't, uh, I, can't, uh, I can't remember at all to be honest uh, but I know buckets do stack if you have them empty uh, so that is what the bottom is for, stacking empty buckets. Now you can change this so that it'll make 36 before it pumps out. I mean 64 before it pumps out, um, I think, if you just click that. Yep, it'll make it there. Or you can have it so that every time... Um, so it'll make it there, Do you understand, if you understand what I mean. So instead of having it pumping out, you can basically say uh, hold 64. So it'll look for this item, look for the items in here make up to 64 uh, before it pumps it out so it's basically like a, uh, it, that's if it wasn't so you could easily use this um, if it wasn't pumping out as well um, uh, but because I have it as one it's pumping out what the hell's happened here uh, something's gone really weird but never mind uh, that's it for this episode I've showed you how automatic crafting tables work uh, so they basically start, they basically duplicate whatever um, blueprint you put in. Whereas uh, the automatic crafting table Mark 2 uh, checks its inventory before it duplicates, so it doesn't actually have to stack on top, which means that cakes and other recipes that have buckets and items that don't allow you to put them on top of each other, such as uh, the only items that I can think of are doors that you can't uh, stack. Oh, wait, doors stack now, I think, actually. Um, I have no idea. Um, but you know what I'm trying to say, um, this basically reads the recipe instead of stacking it in the actual blueprint. Which is pretty cool. Uh, so I've showed you how to use automatic crafting tables. I've showed you different uh, pipes that help you to organize your factories. Um, but that's it, uh, that's it for this episode. Um, I hopefully you've learned how to use automatic crafting tables. Uh, later on I'll be showing you uh, really cool factories using these. Um, I won't be showing you them next. Uh, I might go into different forms of energy again, maybe um, wind turbines or maybe nuclear power uh, or different things altogether. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. 
Uh, hit like and favorite if you're enjoying this. Hit subscribe and receive more content from me. I do other things, uh, as well as um, some of the big problems with Minecraft mod packs, such as this, is that uh, similar to my big dig and my vaults that are both broke now, um, this might not be continuously recorded. So although you might be enjoying this, um, I might not be able to record it every day. Um, I'll try my hardest to try and get it every um, week at least, um, which is still a bit, bit of a push. Uh, but I'll try my hardest to get it every week. At the moment, you should be getting it on my channel um, uh, every other day, or every day nearly, I think, because this is a pretty much all pre-recorded. Um, but if this ever breaks, uh, then... Hopefully, if you subscribe, you might find other things you like, such as Big Dig. Well, Big Dig's kind of really messed up now, uh, thanks to a lot of Chocobos. But I'll, that'll be on my channel soon as well. It might even be before this. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hit like a favorite if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!